Yeah. Bro, I just want you to drop in, man. Just um, shut down the eyes. Place a, you know, finger on your pulse, bro. Feel that heart beat, man. As you're connecting with your heart, bro, in this moment, I really want you to uh, remember this, this point in your history. There's that moment that you really double down on yourself, man. And that life as you know it is about to completely change. That you've burnt the back doors, you've reached out for support, and everything in your life that has happened, all the trials, the tribulations, the adversity, all the celebrations, all the achievements, everything, man, got you to this moment where you're about to shed the skin, man. About to shed a skin, just like the snake man, and then grow even bigger because you've been open and you received that tap on the shoulder, man. It's the reason why we're touching your heartbeat right now, why you're feeling that pulse, man. There's an innate wisdom that flows through you, flows through the eye, and you've been listening to that calling, bro. From this moment forward, just being a man, complete another service, man, not that you already are. But this is that moment where you really start to get financially looked after, abundantly looked after in all areas of your life. Money, relationships, energy, freedom, just continues to keep flowing to you because you're con always connected back to this divine intelligence. Let's take a breath in together, letting that out. Breathing in all those things that got you here, man. This is where you get to really acknowledge yourself, man. Just keep being with that deep, full rounds of breath. And just really drop into that sense of pride. Really allow yourself to soften into all the challenges in your life now you had to get from to get here. All of those times where people said that you wouldn't make it, that you wouldn't get that, you couldn't do it. All the people that have challenged your thought processes, your beliefs, your values. All of those times, man, that you wanted to throw the towel in. All those times it was, fuck oh, man, it'd just be easy to be on wages. All those times, man, that it seems hard but you just keep finding a way to show up. Acknowledge yourself right now, man. Internally keep high-fiving that inner child. Reminding yourself that you've got this. You always have. Everything is taught you all the lessons that got you right. You're a very powerful man, bro. There's a lot of magic to give. That's it, man. Feeling that. Feeling that uniqueness that you are. Feeling really that connectedness to source and you, the human, the beautiful vehicle that you chose, Lucas. The magic in your work to do, man. I'm here to support you as much as possible so that you may flourish, that your family may flourish, so your children's children may flourish, man. I really, really leave a big legacy here by living it. Um, you're all of that, man. The big moment, man. There's a lot that had to happen for you to get here, man. Mm. There's a lot that you have to let go of. There's a lot you have to step away from. There's a lot of people that you have to like, just step away from and go do your thing. And those people may not see you the way that you'd like you them to see you right now, in this moment. But know that just by you being you is magnetizing that. And that fear of maybe losing people that you love friendships just know just know man that they just they're gonna blossom tenfold bro like more than you can ever possibly fathom because you've chosen this this line of service man to give the work to live this path it's a noble path it's a challenging path and that um just remember that we're always students man 
We can just continue to learn and develop and grow and surround ourselves with people that hold us accountable, that can speak truth to us, that can hold us in leadership, that can hold us and cause forward. And um, and just my biggest invitation is just ensure not to surround yourself with yes men, surround yourself with dear brothers that can really, really just continue to shine a light like you do. Yeah, man. How you feeling, bro? It's just a lot of what you said, which just really rings true, you know. There's been a lot of people who, I guess it was really um, me always feeling like I'm always the one to listen back. I don't have a lot of people that um, want to encourage me or um, you know support me. It's always I'm the one who's got to continually tell myself I fucking, I got it. Mm -hmm. I can do it and just carrying that weight all the time mm. just kind of bubbled up a little bit there <clears throat> yeah man I understand that man um, and that um, that is why I really wanted the presence for all of that man because through, through all of that you continually keep summoning like summoning that courage man there's like that inner light warrior within you man that keeps coming back to that and it has like like that stuff bro is the, determ the, the determination that is needed to walk this path but like entrepreneurship is super challenging then add on top of it men's work and being a conscious man and a role model and example we put ourselves out into the limelight to be fucking judged by the world and then say this is how we can be a man and we slip, we fall, we be challenged and ridicule and all of it, man. And so that inner light warrior, man, this is where we build the resilience to be with all of the arrows. To be with all the arrows, man, because <clears throat> we're going to fuck up. We're going to slip. But then as a leader, like how then can we stand back up? How can we own that? How can we improve ourselves and then teach men how to get back up? How to fucking be with the arrows. And um, I just know, man, like, I, before this call, I ran myself back to where you are right now. I'm like, man, like I was a trading. I remember being in the high busy and I wanted that life so fucking bad. Um, and it was daunting, man, because I'd never fucking met a man that had left construction and made it and, and, and was living life that he wanted to. Um, and so there were so many people questioning, to, questioning me telling me that I shouldn't do it, that I shouldn't leave, all that kind of stuff, man. Family, friends, and like, I had to let go of those friends, man. I had to let go of them. And it was fucking lonely. It was super lonely, but it was like an initiation, man. Like, like you've been going through the hero's journey of like just having to let go and continually summon this, the courage within yourself to keep showing up and keep believing in yourself. Um, and. What happens, man, with like, people that start movements? It's not the first person, it's the person that backs that person because then it becomes more. And then from that, momentum starts, bro. And I know that you have a fucking vision and a mission and I fucking see it. I fully see it, man. I see your heart, I see your soul and I back you 100 fucking percent. And now, we're just going to have more, more, and more people keep attracting to that mission and that vision, man. That believe in you, that see you, that see your heart. And so, those those other men in the mind pit gym, and then when you come into this leadership team, man, you, you're going to feel something really special, man. Really fucking special. People that believe in you, that believe in a true abundance. We share everything, man. We share all of that content. We share advice, we share support. This is what works. Don't do that. Do this because we know and we understand that there's enough for everybody. Like all of us remember, we all have different medicine, different gifts, different niches, bro. Um, so yeah, man, that, I just want to mention all of that because that's how I see you. Um, uh, the team, I actually, like, I, I, we're very open and honest about everything and I don't want it to be a dictatorship. So I say, hey, this is a suggestion. What do you guys think? And when I put your name forward, everyone's a full fuck yes, man. He's so ready. Everyone's a fuck yes, fuck yes, fuck yes. So I just want you to know that. Yeah, man, allow that to land. I really yeah. breathe in, man. So that's how your peers, so dear brothers see you, man. We, we see you, I see you. Because of, it's that inner light warrior, man, that gangster that you are. Thanks. <clears throat> You're welcome, man.
And um, oh, please, please, please do uh, offer this to all of the men you ever serve for the rest of your life. You've got gifted to me and it's been super amazing. Um, with your tears, um, we've been taught as boys to wipe them away. Yet they are like the fucking, like the waters of love, man. So when we have tears, I invite you now to rub them on your heart and rub them on your third eye and just continually use those fucking liquid love to open up these portals. Um, and then in men's work, do the same, man. There's a lot of time when we wipe them away, it's like from this shame, man. And then rather than this, this is like ownership and really tapping into that masculine divine energy that we possess and our spiritual self and that wholeness of the feminine and the masculine everything man has from that place of king energy does that make sense yeah 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 100 percent. yeah man i hear you bro beautiful man yeah dear brother said that to me in a workshop once and i was just like it really clicked and dropped in it's like fuck yeah i get to be proud of this i'm a man that feels emotion i get to own that and it's interesting, man, like there's been times that I've cried in front of like family members or I've been in public places and I do that and I can feel like people are like, what are you doing? They're intrigued yeah. by it, man, because there's no shame in it, but there's an ownership to it. Um, and that's the that magnetizing aspect to it. Like those people that don't really understand at the moment, mm -hmm. they get curious, man, just from your way of being, because that person that is unapologetically himself or herself, it's magnetizing. Because yeah. that person's not living with restrictions or boundaries. Like, oh, how did you do that? I want some of that. And so yeah man, I think it'd be really powerful to introduce you next thing. Um, yeah, you don't have to have anyone crying. You can do it beforehand. You can say, hey, I've learned a new tool. I think that we could introduce this and when you do it with your family and all that kind of stuff. Oh, 100%, thank you. Welcome man. Um, so, before I go into this session, is there anything that you would like to ask? Is there anything that you want to uh, declare, own, put in the space, um, that you so you can just clear your vessel, bro? So, it's kind of why I've been pushing to try and um, find a new job, one that just up the pay rate a little bit more, because um, money was super, super tired as it is, and then um, I've just been feeling that, that pressure a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, so I've been just applying for jobs and, um, it's not, it's, even though rejection is a hard thing, it's not the rejection that's getting me, it's, um, a lot of these jobs are all, um, they want me to be vaccinated. And as you know, my stance on that at the moment, so I've been getting just doors shut in my face constantly and it's just fucking and i've been feeling the pressure to to cave um which is obviously doesn't sit well with me because i'm pretty um like you said un um, authentically unapologetic for who i am so it's that pressure so yeah and yeah, that's that's just kind of it yeah so yeah. i've got this really great thing that i'm trying to um level up to be able to provide better and then it's just fucking the world just putting pressure on me to cave to my beliefs and yeah it's been difficult <clears throat> the last couple of days yeah man this is like it's why i keep talking about the light warrior man it's um because all of that heaviness that we know about that manipulation everything's going on um and that pressure and that fucking struggle that we feel as a man to provide money and the, not getting jobs and all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. it is that that spiritual strength man of trusting and like that you, the universe has our back and we may not see mm -hmm. it yet and it may be fucking hard and like it may be like the last dollars in the bank and all that kind of stuff but then it's that swing and that trust and that belief and just continually reminding yourself and myself included with this is that in this moment, we have everything that we need. 